All right, I'm here to demonstrate the uh, the SWR Working Man 300 base amp that I have for sale on Craigslist. Um, SWR is uh, like actually Stephen W. Rabe's initials. Uh, he began, I think, in the early 80s making base amps in his garage. And he's gone on to uh, be one of the most successful uh, base amplifier suppliers in the country. Kind of like Steve Jobs in his in respect. Hence the Apple sticker. Um, this is 300 watts. It's Steve, Steve Jobs, actually. Steve Jobs? Steve Jobs. What did I say? Steve Jobs. Uh, well, whatever. Anyway, it's um, 300 watts. It's got active and passive inputs. Um, I'm going to play through a passive input here since uh, I'm playing an active bass as it is. Uh, the only thing is, I'm running this through a guitar amp, the, or a cabinet. Uh, this ABT series, uh, 200 watt. Uh, so it's not going to have the low end on this video. Well, but yeah, exactly. But it's going to You plug it into a bass cab, it'll sound great. I mean, it sounds decent anyway. I get that 39.1 hertz or 39.9 or 39.1 hertz low beat. It's got some pop to it. I mean, obviously, it's a part of the bass too. But one interesting thing it has the onboard EQ can you can cut out all the mids. So if you do play slap bass, you could easily just kick it off and and go to town. It cuts out all the mids. You get your high and low end. Can't really tell with the cab here, but also has a uh, master volume here. It's got a limiter indication with a, a green line, which you probably saw. Um, and you can turn off and on the speakers, kind of like a, a standby switch here. Other than that, I got it up. Place your bids. 